But we'll talk about that later because what we're talking about now is Michelle Collins. And if she doesn't start telling me what she's doing to her face, I'm going to hang right up. Is she stunning? Michelle, you are truly one of the most stunning women I've ever seen. Such an attractive person. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. I am. Uh, I have like the Are You Afraid of the Dark Lighting? No. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. I have to tell you something. There's a. This is the truth. I get Botox done three times a year. Yeah. I sometimes will buy like an, um, is the word ampule? What do you do? The things that you crack open, you sure. smear it on yes. of uh-huh. a serum or an acid. I'll do a little moisturizer, but on my life, I don't do a lot. And people, I, I oh, and I wear foundation almost every day. My theory is that foundation is what keeps my skin looking good and moisturized. It's but James. Is there a moisturizer yeah. in it? Maybe? Genetics. Fenty. Fenty foundation. Uh, and it genetics. Is jeans, Your mother is gorgeous and, also. My mother looked very young up until like three years ago. And then Mrs. Well, Doubtfire, and she'll 90? never hear this. 75. But she's, um, I'm glad we really said down- Michelle's name yet. Have we said Michelle Collins? Yet? I said Michelle. I think Collins. you have. Oh, you did. Okay. I'm right. glad her downhill was 72. That's very rare. To it go downhill COVID. at 72. I know she was looking great. And then she locked herself indoors, uh, Shawshank style for a year and a half wiped all the Costco groceries down and it took every last bit of life out of her, to be honest. Rana, but she's you'll appreciate well. this, Rana, because Rana and I one time went to Budapest together, Michelle and her Correct. mother, and I guess her father, you're all Hungarian, right? We're Hungarian and I studied yeah. abroad in Budapest before it was like Nazified again. And what your do you parents think are from Hungary, right? No, no, no. My oh, grandparents no. were Hungarian. Should we get into the Holocaust? How long has it been? 35 seconds? I'm ready. Oh, I can't we, wait. Um, <laughs> I'm I already upset. And that's why I look Brian so young. And I that's supposed the end to do of the show. Tour this weekend, and now he tells me he's canceling. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Oh no, believe me. Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah. we'll talk about that. To, no, um, maybe, maybe I'll still do it. Maybe I'll still do it. It'll Wait, be you were my go second time visiting by myself. Yeah. Well, Michelle, I always, you know, whenever I'm within at least, you know, 400, 500 miles of a camp, I have to get there. That's how. Really? Yeah. And Michelle, this is no joke. She usually, no joke. She usually does it around her birthday. That I my, get. I had you a do. perfect. That I, that I get. As I did a Jew, it on I get my, that, the yeah. last time I was. First of all, I had no idea you were Jewish, Michelle Collins. A full Jew. Full. My mother is from Tel Aviv. This is the thing. My dad grew up in Brooklyn. What? My mom grew up in Israel. Yes. Hello. Was, wait a minute. Giant I, Jew. Yes. So how did you become a Collins? That's just an Ellis Island name? That, no, the Ellis Island name was Sick, C I K K. And my mother, who was very glamorous, changed it when I was in the third grade because she didn't want to be called Judy Sick anymore. So she went to court in Miami, changed it because of Collins Avenue, and I'm Michelle Collins. That's oh, the wait short a minute. version. I didn't so ever she know was that part. Already giving you a show business. She gave herself a show business. <laughs> yes. She said, I'll take Collins as my performance name. Yeah, even like though naming, there is a Judy if Collins. She had, yes. If she had named herself Judy Rodeo, if she had lived in New York, in, in Los Angeles, that's how <laughs> yeah. she would have done it. <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> also, yes, exactly. did you ever go to Grunberg's Deli? Never. In Miami? Were you from North Miami Beach or where were you? I from? was Aventura, yeah. Wait, maybe it's not called Grunberg's. The Grunberg's ran the deli. You mean Moe's? Moe's Bagels is the scene. That's where everyone no, plays. No, I'll and have goes to look to it up. I'll thought it was okay. called Grunberg's. I'll have to look it up. All right. It was a Romanian deli. Never Run been. by Romanian Never Jews. Been. Wait, That's so Michelle, what are you waiting fighting. for? Come see us in Prague. It's nothing but Jewish tombstones in history. And Brian and I are having the time of our life. Done and done. I've actually been to Prague years ago, but only for maybe four days with my mom. And uh, we saw Chris Rock. That was very exciting. That was our celeb sighting in Prague at the time. Oh, was performing he- or just like walking around? Walking around. That's fantastic. Well, you couldn't, you couldn't miss him because that's one thing they don't have here. I was going to say, this is, is probably the diversity. least diverse city I've ever yeah. been to in my yeah. life. Yeah. No, literally, uh, friends of mine, because this is when I was studying abroad, saw him and he's my number one. So I thought, oh my God, how did you, how can I see him? They go, you'll notice him. If you pass him, you'll know. And I'm not joking you. He it's was true. probably one of three black people I saw in Prague that entire time. 